Good morning. We had a windstorm here a little bit last night. I mean, not a big windstorm. On the west coast, we could have way bigger ones, right? But we had a little one. And it's so nice kind of to come out after the windstorm to see the debris, you know, <laughs> see the trees. The ocean's still really wild. I dig that a lot. So listen, I'm not here just to talk to you about what it's like to be out after a windstorm. I'm a writer. I'm an expressive, if you will. I'm a creative. And I help other creatives express what they're really trying to say so the world can understand it. And uh, I was in this conversation with Mary Beth Dean yesterday, my writing partner, and the woman who we partner together to, uh, to develop write on the Leap Learning Lab and publish on the Leap Learning Lab. And we're deep in our own process to support, oh, look at that fish. Oh my goodness, a big bullhead, wow. Um, and we're deep in our own process to help discover, help, is that the right word? To discover all the, like all the nuances of the artistic process for writers. Because I think there's this thing where writers don't think they're artists. And they bloody well are, like they totally are. We're, well, number one, I have a belief that we're all artists anyway. Hey, hey Jake. So I have this belief that we're all artists anyway. Good morning, welcome to the beach. It's a glorious, glorious, windy day. It's like my kind of day. My kind of day is a day when I'm not wearing quite enough clothes to be warm. I have bare legs. Oh, I'm upside down. <laughs> what am I doing with bare legs out here? But I am, it's like I always like, I like to feel weathered. But I bet you the wind's bugging this recording. So anyway, I'm gonna keep going. Process. So Mary Beth Dean and I have published on the Leap Learning Lab. We're deep in our own process of articulating the artistic process for writers. And I had this thought yesterday that this is my season. Summer is, it's my season. It's where I wake up, which is pretty cool. It's like energetically, it feels different. I get kind of lighter in the summer. And it's not even about the heat, because I'm not really a heat lover, so I live on the West Coast. But I kind of wake up in the summer. I believe in things more in the summer. I'll take bigger risks in the summer. My work takes on a very different flavor in the summer. In the winter, is the winter, ah, uh, the fall is also another one of my seasons. Because the fall, I go in. And I'm like, I'm not fearless in the fall, that happens more in the summer, but I'm very reflective in the fall. The winter, I think I'm like way in deep, man. And I'm like so in deep, I'm not sure which end is up. And I'm kind of okay there, but it feels kind of spooky. And then the spring, which is like right now, while like we're kind of like moving into summer, I totally get lost, which is part of the process. And why am I here? not talk about me but to talk about your artistic process and for me I had this aha wow and I know we know all this we've heard this before the seasons you know looking at the different seasons of our relationship the different seasons of our life and the different seasons of blah 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 but the artistic process is exactly the same and what's so cool is that we each have our own it's not my process isn't yours it might be similar, I don't know. But your work or invitation, if you will, is to tune into that and use it and ride it. Ride it like the magic carpet ride it is because you've been given a magic carpet. So get on, get on your magic carpet. Get on your season. Let yourself be the artist that you are. You're a writer. You might not be an expressive like me, like this might not be where you come alive. But I know, I know that you have a story inside of you and it might come out through words. Well, it's got to come out through words. I guess it could come out through dance and of course it can. But what I specialize in is the words part. 
get to know your seasons, get to know your process, and get on your magic carpet ride because you've got one. I'm Tina O from Tina O Life. My writing partner is Mary Beth Dean, and our programs can be found on the Leap Learning Lab. Publish and write. It's so great to check in with you here. Go be an artist, go get on your magic carpet and write. Ciao.